An 18 year old man was arraigned today for two separate child molestation cases. Police say there could be more victims locally. David Miguel Corona was arrested at the scene of the crime in the second alleged molestation incident. News 8's Kirsten Holmes joins us now live with details. Kirsten. I'm here at the San Diego County Courthouse where 18 year old David Miguel Corona was arraigned virtually. I have here in my hand a digital copy of the criminal complaint against him where police say that he groped two young girls, one at a Target on Balboa, the other at a Goodwill store in La Jolla. And now parents all across our area have to have some pretty uncomfortable conversations with their kids. I'll confront him straight away. I want to know what's happening. I want to know the truth of the matter. That's not okay. I wouldn't want nobody touching my little sister. That makes me so uncomfortable, so angry inside. Diego Rodriguez shops at the Target on Balboa with his family and little sister and says he would do anything to protect them. I hope all the victims, you know, they find the healing that they need. Catch frequents La Jolla and says hearing news like this is hard to take in, but also says putting this on television is important for the sake of prevention and the safety of the public. On October 1st, just before 10 p.m., San Diego police got a call about an 11 year old girl who had been molested inside of Target while the family was shopping. Yes, please, not guilty. Police say the suspect, 18 year old David Miguel Corona, ran away before he could get caught. Then on October 3rd, around 5 30 p.m., San Diego police got another call about a 13 year old girl getting molested, this time in a Goodwill store in La Jolla. Also, this time, police were able to arrest Corona before he could get away. When you go to the store, Simone shops at the Target and says it's sad that kids are in danger this way. Like they're not supposed to have to, like, watch for themselves all the time, so it's definitely alarming. It doesn't make no sense how people could do that to others. Like, I have my little sister and I care so much for her. I will never can see her, like, in danger. That's horrible. Diego Rodriguez says it's important to have serious conversations with your children and watch out. A lot of people have to keep their eyes open now because it's, it's a possibility that something could have, horrible could happen to their family members or to themselves. Diego has a message for the suspect and anyone who would think to do this. You need to go within and figure out what's wrong with you because you cannot be expressing this negativity out into the universe, out into the world. That is not right. It's not acceptable whatsoever. We reached out to Target and to Goodwill to see what they had to say about the incidents. First of all, Goodwill says that they are cooperating with the investigation and Target says they have no tolerance for this kind of behavior in their stores and they're also cooperating with San Diego police. Now, back to you, Carlo. So Kirsten, people are obviously worried about this. What is the police message tonight for the community? Yeah, police say that this is an ongoing and active investigation. They say if you think you may have seen anything in the Target or the Goodwill store to please come forward. They also say that if you or someone you know may have been a victim of a crime like this to please call police. All right, Kirsten Holmes reporting live. Thanks, Kirsten.